Hello again and welcome to this RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial series. I am Murti and last time we created a teleport event that teleported the player from the world map into the village. In this tutorial we are going to expand on the village that we have created and we're going to create an inn in which the player can sleep and recover his health and MP. I have already created an interior map for this village uh, inn, which looks like this. I have not added any events to this interior yet. The first thing we need to do is to repeat what we did last time, which was to create a teleport event from the world map into the village. But this time, we want the player to be able to teleport from the tutorial village map and into the interior of the inn. To do this, I make a new event at the door and I make a transfer player action. I have now created a teleport now we are going to create an in a functioning in which the player can enter and you have to pay to stay the night to do this I'm going to create an innkeeper to create an innkeeper which is an NPC we do the exact same thing as with the teleport, we use events. For this event, I want to choose a graphic, because otherwise the innkeeper would be invisible. Double click the graphic square in order to open the graphic selector. I think this person looks like an innkeeper. I'm going to call this event Innkeeper and there we have the innkeeper in the world however at this point he doesn't do anything he simply stands there to create an inn I have to make sure that this event is activated when the player ac presses the action button that is the trigger of the event First of all, I want the innkeeper to say something. To do this, I make an action called show text. In this text box, I can write anything, and I want the innkeeper to say, Welcome. It's only 10 G to stay the night here. Yeah. Of course, at this point, when the player reads the text, he might not know how much money he has. That's why we're going to open the gold window, which shows how much gold the player is carrying. To do this, we are going to make a very simple text command. To initiate a text command, we always use backslash. The symbol we're going to use is the dollar symbol. This will open the gold window. This part of the text will not be shown in the text window. Now we want the player to be able to choose whether or not he wants to stay the night. To do that, we insert 
show choice command. Here, the player can have a maximum of four different choices. We only need two. Stay, turn G, don't stay. The when cancel is the, is the choice that will be selected automatically if the player should hit the cancel button. By default this is choice 2, which is fine, because that means don't stay. Here you can see the different actions that will happen if the player should choose either of the two choices. What will happen if the player should choose when that he wants to stay goes here under stay. What should happen if the player do not want to stay goes here under don't stay. First, I want to make a don't stay action. If the player chooses don't stay, the innkeeper will give a message or a dialogue. OK. Suit yourself. And then it will close because there's nothing more here. When stay, we have to make sure that the player actually has 10G in his inventory. To do this, we have to use something called a conditional branch. This will check if something is valid. We have many options here, but what we want to check is if the player has enough money. The player needs to have at least 10G. We want to check this box because we want him to say something if the player should not have enough money. If the player doesn't have enough money, the innkeeper will say You don't have that much. And then it will end. However, if the player has 10G, the first thing we need to do is to subtract 10G from his inventory. To change gold and decrease that by 10G. Now we want the player to recover his health, or we want to recover the health of the entire party. So we make a new command and choose Recover All. We want the entire party to recover their health and MP. Often in RPGs, the screen tends to fade to black and then back again when we're in, 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 when in an in. To do this, we simply choose fade out screen and then we fade it back in. We might want a short jingle for our in. To do this, simply choose Play ME. You can choose any music you want. For this tutorial, we're going to use the default one. After the screen has faded back in, I want the innkeeper to say thank you for your stay.
And that is basically all there is to, to make a functioning in in your game. So let's check if this works. So here we are in our game world, and we're going to test if this in actually works. For the purpose of this playtest, I've put in a new character here, which is our cheat girl. She gives us a hundred gold, because uh, otherwise we wouldn't be able to check if uh, the inn actually works, because we wouldn't have any money, because the game starts with zero gold. So first of all, we're going to check if she, if he actually refuses to let us stay if we don't have enough money. And if we refuse to stay ourselves... So far, so good. Now let us give ourselves some money. So that is how you make a functioning in in your RPG using RPG Maker VX Ace. In the next tutorial, we're going to use switches to make a short quest for our game. So I hope I see you next time. I am Murti, and this was the RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial series.